Hi, my name is Marco. I'm a former opera singer turned voice actor. Today's request comes from Dylan on my Patreon. Dylan requested Pantheon's theme from League of Legends. I don't know anything about League of Legends. Absolutely zero. I've never even touched it. I have no idea what this music is even like, but I know that the fan base is loyal and the lore is fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to diving into this. So here we go. I assume it's something to do with the gladiator, but I have no idea. I just want to stop there really quickly. I don't know the lore at all, so I, I may be way off, but to me this sounds like a person that's been forced to do battle that he doesn't want to participate in. This is a person who is loyal, honest, trustworthy, forthright. He, he, th this is a, as a person who, there's a lot of honor in this person. This person has a sense of pride and he won't, he would never stab somebody in the back. It's very, very like warrior person who's very, very noble, but, but, but he is strong and he is deadly and you don't want to cross him ever. That's yeah, really good. That's fun. You know, I, I picture I picture this character looking out at the sunset after winning his freedom or something, and I, I feel like there's there's that middle section there where it feels like something must have happened in order for him to have to enter into the into the I don't know in, into the league or in into battle with with these other heroes from League of Legends. You know, it, it has a very uh, Spartan Troy you know, 
ancient Greece vibe to it, especially when we get those drums there in the middle. And and again, this is another prime example of a vocalese where we don't ever need lyrics in order to tell a story. Sometimes all we need to tell a story is just music coming together to describe something to us orally. And we don't need to hear lyrics. We don't need to have it be slapped on our face. I wonder how right I am about this character. But musically, it's just so... It's I, I love when the, the, the horns are used in such a dominant way and there's it, it, there's a sense of masculinity and 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 power and brute strength and and dominance and and intensity to this you really you, it really comes across i love the use of those drums I, I drums in general just give this just very very strong sound that then gets carried over by the brass i think it's interesting that they chose to use a female singer instead of a male singer too like what's the significance of that perhaps the female singer adds a touch of vulnerability there maybe this character i know that the lore of league of legends is very very well thought out perhaps this character does have sensitivity and does have a sensitive side and as we know more often than not the female singer is used in these video game pieces to describe all sorts of different things sensitivity heavenliness gentility I don't know why they chose female versus male because a male would be like, oh, he's the greatest. He's a god among men, you know, and the female sound adds a touch of of grace to that, which really, I think, uh, it really sticks out and it really adds to the whole piece, uh, shifting us away from just this strong male dominant force into a three dimensional character. I I have no idea what this character looks like. I I know nothing about this, but that's just what I hear based on the music alone. So really, really cool piece. And I'm curious to go look up what this character looks like now. Sweet. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.